Hello guys, uh, Dan here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video I'm going to try to paint uh, MDF terrain. Uh, this will be a Tagwak uh, headquarters uh, from the Warsenal. Uh, so this will be my first time painting uh, MDF, so let's try. Uh, as you can see they come on the, these sprues and they are really easy to remove uh, from the sprues, just uh, push them out and then uh, just uh, glue them. There is like instructions online how you're supposed to assemble and glue this and uh, I followed it. Uh, actually I'm going to paint this uh, in a sub-assembly process so I'll just paint it uh, while it's like separated. As you can see here I glued the parts that I wanted uh, uh, just to be painted uh, uh, by itself and then uh, later when I'm done I will just uh, glue all of these uh, things uh, together. I will just prime everything. I'm using this uh, Rastuleon sprays, which are really good. But here I made a little mistake because I pick up a satin one instead of a matte one. So this black have like a little glossy finish. Uh, but later I will uh, spray it with the matte spray, so I will neutralize uh, all the gloss. Uh, so whenever you're using sprays, just uh, please uh, spray it outside. Uh, don't spray it inside and then just go in a very light side-to-side uh, -side motions and just do a little puffs until you are satisfied uh, with the level of the paint. Uh, don't try to spray it, it like uh, in the same spot because it will create like a pool and it will splat everywhere and it will look really bad. For this big base I glued it with some uh, double-sided uh, tapes uh, on the box uh, so it's uh, keeping it steady and it's uh, very easy to spray it. Uh, you can just rotate the box and uh, approach from the all angles. Uh, here you can see how it looks when it's completely primed. As you can see, uh, like it's a little glossy because of my primer, but it doesn't matter. And the other thing is in MDF, it will create some uneven textures because of the how the MDF is absorbing uh, the paint uh, and during the drying it will create uh, some patches. But if you know any trick how to solve this, uh, please let me know in the comments uh, section down below. Uh, for the most of the painting here, they advise uh, to use the airbrush. So I will paint uh, some parts with the airbrush to show you how does it look when I paint it with the airbrush. And then later I'm going to paint something with the brush to show you uh, actually the difference so you can see how uh, this piece of terrain actually reacts when painted uh, with the brush and uh, with the airbrush so you can actually see the difference and why it's better to use the airbrush in this process. Uh, here as you can see I started uh, already putting uh, some highlights uh, with the light ghost grey. It's actually one of the Vallejo's uh, primer paints. Uh, so actually it have a really good coverage. So I just went around and I pick up some interesting points uh, of lights uh, where I'm just putting small small puffs and actually highlighting those areas. Uh, because as you can see working with the flat surfaces uh, it can be quite boring because they don't have any details. So you have to create something and uh, this will be almost impossible to do with the brush or it will actually take you forever and uh, by using the airbrush it's take only like a few seconds. There is a lot of lights uh, on this base, so I'm going to use a light sea blue and I'm going to create uh, some uh, 
glow uh, on these slides. So actually I'm going to spray this blue uh, around uh, the middle of this slide and let a little of the overspray to go around the sides. So I will just go around and create a little circles around uh, these slides. Now I'm going to create some glow effect. I'm going to pick up a pure white and I'm going to spray it uh, just in the middle of these lights. Uh, I will try to cover like half of the area that I covered with the blue before and uh, try to focus it more in the middle. Let uh, only a little of the overspray go on the sides and it will create a transition and the effect of the glow of these uh, lights. Uh, for the next stage, I'm going to paint uh, some of the panels red uh, because I want to create some diversity and I will just uh, copy the art uh, from the box. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, Mephiston Red and uh, just going to spray it uh, on the red panels. As you can see here, I'm using some cardboard as my guard uh, just to protect the rest uh, of the already painted parts from the overspray. Uh, and uh, I will go here in the few passes after the paint is completely dry. I will go second time and then even the third time uh, to try to have uh, even coverage all around uh, because uh, the MDF is not soaking the paint evenly all around. Uh, now I'm going to switch to my brush and I'm going to use a pale blue uh, to start painting uh, this uh, like grayish uh, off-white parts. Uh, here I made a little mistake because I glued this part. If I left them off I could use an airbrush and paint this uh, very easily. This uh, took me like uh, three coats uh, of this paint uh, to have a even coverage and actually some of these parts will be invisible after assembly. Uh, for all the golden parts I use the gold brown and as you can see I'm applying this with my brush and uh, it took me three or in some cases even four passes uh, with the thin layers with the brush to have a good coverage. Uh, here you can actually see how the paint uh, is not applying correctly after uh, strokes and uh, the thing is uh, after uh, the layer is dried uh, you can even see even bigger difference uh, between the layers so it actually requires a lot of uh, applications to have a good coverage. Uh, that's why it is advisable to use the airbrush in these cases uh, because the paint from the airbrush is drying almost the, the moment that it touch the, the surface uh, so it doesn't have time uh, to be soaked inside the MDF and uh, change its properties. And that's it. Uh, this moment I decided to assemble everything and see how does it look. And I was pretty happy. Uh, but actually there is always some work that can be done here. You can do the edge highlights uh, on all the panels, like the black panels and the red panels. Uh, but since this is not important piece, it's not for competition, it will just be on the table as the just a piece of scenery. I didn't want to put any time and effort in it, so I decided uh, to finish this project.
Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't uh, miss any future videos from me. And if you have any comments and suggestions, please leave them in the section down below and I will try to do my best. This is all for now guys. Uh, stay safe, take care and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.